Are your shoulders beat to shit, but you still want to grow massive pecs? Let me show you how to do it. All right, so a common question I get a lot is, Chris, my shoulders hurt like hell when I do chest. How do I fix that? How do I still grow my chest while avoiding more injury or more damage? So there's a bunch of different things, but the number one thing I want to stress you the most is get the fuck off the flat bench. If you need all the reasons why I hate flat benching, watch this video. All right, so that, that's step one. No flat benching. This is too much risk for too little reward. That fully pronated grip puts your shoulders in a very compromised position. And if you, especially if you're doing it first and doing it super heavy, it's just not smart for longevity. Uh, the probability of chest and pec tears, but then for beating your shoulders even more into the ground, don't do it. So what we wanna think about here is if I'm structuring a chest workout and my shoulders are hurt or injured or just sore and tender, right? I'm always gonna start with some sort of fly. Now, some people say, oh, Chris, you're gonna pre-exhaust the chest. All I'm doing there is getting my chest activated through a range of motion that does not hurt my shoulders. But then secondly, what I wanna do, I do wanna pre-exhaust. I wanna pre-fatigue my chest a little bit so it's gonna reduce the amount of load I need when I go next into either my machine pressing or into my dumbbell pressing. So that is gonna be leading into exercise number two, right? So I'm gonna start with a machine fly. That can be a high cable crossover, a pec deck, a roller uh, fly. And again, we'll show you all those uh, exercise examples here that I've done in the past for you guys on the channel. Reps and sets there, I like three sets of 15 to 20. All I'm trying to do is get a massive pump on my chest and try to make my chest a little tired. Then from there, again, the next two things I'm gonna go into are either the machine press or an incline, slight incline dumbbell press. Now, what I want you to think about here is if you look at my hands, I don't wanna, when I dumbbell press, I don't wanna be fully pronated. I wanna be semi-pronated and find that groove. Now, the next thing I wanna think about is my shoulders hurt. So let's say I'm gonna turn to the side here. Let's say my shoulders feel good, good, good. Ooh, they're starting to get tight, starting to get tight. Now they hurt like hell, this fucking aches. Don't go in this range of motion. Stop before it hurts. So if it's right there, I'm still working my chest. Look at my chest, watch this. Here, I'm still working my chest, still working it. Don't force yourself into range of motion you can't own or do not cause pain. If you have an area that causes pain, it's not gonna get bigger, I promise you. Because your body can't do more than one thing. It can't contract a muscle and suffer through pain. It just can't. So if you feel pain, stop short of that range of motion. Again, incline dumbbell is what I tend to like for people who have shoulder issues. But it's slight incline. I'm on an extreme angle. Barely inclining that bench is gonna be the best bet for you. From there, then I would go into a machine press that feels amazing. Or on the flip side of that, if I start with the machine press, meaning fly to machine press, then I'll go to my slight incline dumbbell press. Now, with the machine press, just like with everything else I've said to you, if you find a machine that feels awful and really fucks your shoulder up, don't do it. Find a machine press that feels good. Something's gonna be, again, not fully pronated, but something's in the middle. Every hammer strength piece in the gym is semi pronated. So, if you have one of those, use it, please. And don't use things that hurt your shoulder. Don't use the range of the motion that hurts your shoulder. Very similar with that, with the incline dumbbell press example. If going through that full range of motion hurts your shoulder, stop it. Stop short of it and keep pressing. Then I would finish up with some sort of fly. So whatever you didn't do first, finish up with that. Now, if you can do an incline dumbbell fly, a flat dumbbell fly, and you have no pain, that's a great exercise to wrap up the day with. But you can also do a pec deck, you can do a high cable crossover, you can do a fly roller. So those are how I would structure a chest workout, four exercises, three to four work sets a piece, uh, and I'm doing the rep range of anywhere between eight and 12 reps. So pretty basic there. Now, but let's say, Chris, I really wanna to try to get into some barbell pressing, or I wanna start working my way back into barbell pressing. Okay, perfect. Well, guess what we can do? Reverse band. That's gonna be super safe on your shoulder because it's gonna deload us as we get deeper into the hole where our shoulders are more susceptible to injury or pain. So the reverse band would be a great place to start with that. Again, same thing, if we're doing with an incline, you can do an incline, you can do a flat, you can do a slight decline, it does not matter. Um, another way you could even do it in the Smith machine. So still reverse banding the Smith machine would be another great option for us that I've showed you on this channel before. And then lastly, we have, at this gym, we have a really cool bar called a Tsunami Bar that's gonna put us in a neutral grip and we can press out of that too. So we'll show a video of me and one of my buddies, Alex, doing it. That neutral grip tends to be very joint friendly. And to kind of circle back around to the very beginning of this, if you wanna start with a dumbbell press, but even a semi-pronated grip hurts your shoulder, try going fully neutral. So here, 
and just pressing like a hammer, bam, straight up, straight down. That may feel amazing to you. Or let's say most machine press bother your shoulder. Find one that has a neutral grip and try pressing with that. You can crush your chest doing neutral grip pressing. So again, play around with your hand angles. Depending on your shoulder injury, the person that asked me this question wasn't exact and didn't say, oh, I have a labrum tear, or you know, when I do this, it hurts. So I'm kind of speaking in vague terms. So you're, what you're gonna do is experiment when you're in the gym. If something hurts, don't do it. If something feels great, double down on it. So for example, if only, say, incline dumbbell pressing feels great to your, to your shoulder, is there a reason you can't do 12 to 15 sets of that and call it a day for chest before you move on to shoulders? Absolutely not. You're gonna, I promise you'll see more growth out of doing that than if you did three exercises that hurt. So don't get your mind wrapped around or married to have to do four exercises for three sets each. If you only have two exercises or one exercise that work well, crank on that hard as hell and then move on. So those are all the advice I have there for training with beat up shoulders and still trying to grow massive pecs. Uh, if you like this video guys, like, share, and subscribe. We're gonna keep bringing this great content. And until next time, Chris Evans TV.